Welcome to the second part of Enterprise Architecture Basic. Here we will very briefly speak about how Enterprise Architecture can be useful in sustainability and alignment between business and IT. First, about how Enterprise Architecture supports sustainability. We understand sustainability as an ability or capacity of something to be maintained or to sustain itself. To illustrate what is sustainability, let us consider first such term as viability. So in the interplay of economic, social and environmental factors, the viability means that the system is able to adjust to the changes in the environment regardless whether it knows these changes in, in advance or not. This is viability. So the sustainability is one of the features of viability. Let us now suppose that we have business model and we have corresponding business architecture. So here we can see that for this enterprise model, we have made a specific business architecture and we know how this architecture is related with the model. When we have this, we already have something which helps us to see whether our business model is sustainable because there are relationships between elements of the business architecture, but we have something more in enterprise architecture. We have also relationships to many other issues like services, like data structures, uh, like different devices. And if we change business model and corresponding business architecture, then because of these relationships, we can see whether we are able to sustain our business architecture by other things which are very important there. Do we have enough of data? Do we have right information flows? Do we have processes and so on and so on? So really, for sustainability, the relationships which are provided by different elements, uh, between different elements of different artifacts of enterprise architecture are very, very, very important. Also, these relationships help in alignment between business architecture and IT. Let us consider an example here with our process of uh, Colibri. So this is our business process where we prepare, uh, where we listen to the videos, where we prepare answers to the questions and so on and so on. This is a model of introductory part. And um, for doing this, we are using databases, different applications, services, networks, computers, and practically, if we would build an enterprise architecture, we would see how our business process is aligned to this information technology issues. So let us consider this from this point of view again. So here we have the process. And if we are building enterprise architecture, we can see how this process is related to elements of information technology. Another way how to talk about alignment between business and IT and how enterprise architecture supports it, it is um, looking from the point of view of TOGAF architecture. Here we will see that there is our business process, which belongs to business architecture level, and there is our information technology issues, which belong to information systems architecture level and technology architecture level. Uh, remember, in the introductory part, we called this application level. This is the end of the second part of the basic part of Enterprise Architecture module. You are very welcome to take another quiz. And when you are done with this, then proceed to the third part, which will be much longer than the previous two ones.